Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I am your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. A couple of days ago, my web manager complained. She said, your videos are getting too depressing. Well, I reminded her that the eagle in the Apocalypse in Revelation 8.13 cries out, whoa, whoa, whoa. But then I thought about it, and when Jesus prophesied, he included the positive as well as the negative. So I asked her, what would you suggest? And she sent me this following email about the Pope handing out rosaries at the Vatican. Pope Francis on Sunday advised Catholics to take a special dose of spiritual medicine, offering some 20,000 boxes of mercy containing rosary beads to pilgrims in St. Peter's Square. I now want to suggest a medicine. What, you ask? The Pope is now a pharmacist? Francis said, shaking a box resembling a pack of tablets, after reciting the traditional Sunday Angelus prayer from a window overlooking the square. The instructions, provided in several languages, say, can be used once a day, but in case of emergency can be taken as much as the soul needs. The dose is the same for adults and children, it adds. The unusual medicine box was inspired by followers of Polish nun Mary Faustina Kowalska, who was made a saint in 2000 and is known as the Apostle of Divine Mercy, according to the Italian news agency. Don't forget to take your medicine because it is good for the heart, the soul, the whole life, the Pope said. So now I want to show you this photograph of the Pope waving his box of medicine, which is the rosary, to the pilgrims gathered in St. Peter's Square. Pope Francis shows a rosary in a box designed to resemble a packet of pills during his traditional Sunday appearance from his studio overlooking St. Peter's Square at the Vatican, Sunday, November 17, 2013. Joking that he's like a pharmacist, Pope Francis is promoting prayer as medicine for the heart. Appearing on Sunday at his studio window, Francis held up a rosary in a box designed to resemble a packet of pills. Francis' down-to-earth way of speaking in a style ordinary people can readily understand, apparently has helped draw huger than usual crowds to St. Peter's Square for the traditional weekly papal appearances. About 80,000 tourists and Romans packed the square on a warm Sunday day. Okay, so now that is the positive side of this program. But now I do have to add just a little bit of the whoa, whoa, whoa. The rosary is not just medicine for your soul, it is a weapon that we will use against the Antichrist. It is prefigured in the sword that Judith cuts off Holofernes' head with. It is prefigured in the 50 cubit high scaffold that King Ahasuerus hangs Haman and his ten sons on. Haman and his ten sons prefigure the Antichrist and the ten kings of the Antichrist. The rosary is prefigured in the five smooth pebbles that David uses against Goliath. And remember, that pebble embedded itself in Goliath's forehead. This is all prefigured back in Genesis 3.15, where the woman crushes the head of the serpent. So I am not discounting Pope Francis because he is promoting the rosary which is wonderful. It helps all of us individually, especially in these end times. But it is also the weapon, the weapon which Jesus has chosen to defeat the Antichrist. But since this program was suggested by my web manager, I do want to close on a positive note. She is doing a wonderful job, and I believe this weekend she will be posting the last chapter of Daniel, chapter 10-12, which again 
just like all of the other chapters that I've posted so far, the vision chapters, they also indicate that Mary's Rosary, that is 555, will defeat number 666, and that is Mr. Antichrist.